Yeah, this skid loader looks pretty cool, but it doesn't compare to the maximum towing capacity of the all new 2020 Chevy heavy duty trucks. I'm talking about 35 and a half thousand pounds. In this video, I have an opportunity to drive two dualies, one crew cab and one regular cab with really heavy maximum weight trailers. But also I can show you how the new 6.6 .6 liter gas V8 Silverado drives and also the new Duramax, of course. You gotta watch this. Now here is the new 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel V8. This engine just looks so much more massive than the gas engine. It's the same displacement, 6.6 .6 liters, but a whole different ball game. You've got a big turbocharger nestled in the V of this big V8 and have a lot of heft to manage all that torque and power. Now here's the 10 speed, the new transmission that's made it to the big diesel engine. And you can also see the power takeoff unit right here, chain driven on the side. And I really wanna get this on the highway and see how this new transmission, Allison branded transmission is working. The chassis of the truck is basically all new. Of course, it's fully boxed frame with several cross members and the wheelbase has been stretched about 5.2 inches. That's good for towing because you have a longer platform for your towing vehicle. Here's the new cooling fan I was talking about for the big diesel because cooling is a very important factor when you're towing with 35,000 pounds. You wanna get as much cooling as possible and that allows it to do it right there with a gigantic 28 inch fan. Guys, there's very few places you can do this. Tow a gigantic trailer and an anvil at that. Let me explain what's happening here. Come on. This is a first drive experience set up by Chevrolet to tow the maximum trailer weights. Once the new dually trucks reach production later this year, we will of course get them to Colorado and put them on the Ike Gauntlet world's toughest towing test. But for now, let me show you these heavy trailers that Chevy brought to this event and take them for a spin. The 2020 Silverado Heavy Duty has currently the class leading towing number, which is 35,500 pounds. The trailer you see behind me is loaded almost to that, just a hair over 35,000 pounds. That giant anvil you see on top is actually a prop. It weighs about 1,400 pounds. It's built out of wood and styrofoam, but the metal plates, the steel below it, is what actually gives the trailer the weight. Check it out. This is a Chevrolet event. They set this up, of course, and they put steel plates here. You could see it, and it's various number of plates throughout the trailer to balance it. They say about 15% tongue weight. Check it out, guys. I got my commercial driver's learner permit. That means I passed all my written exams, my medical test, and I can now drive with heavy loads on the highway if there's a CDL driver next to me. But then, when I pass my driving test, I can haul big and heavy, including, hopefully, air brakes. But for this first drive of the Chevrolet trucks, we are on a private course so I can drive by myself. Now this is the real truck that's capable of that maximum towing, nearly 35,500 pounds. The reason why I say nearly is because this is a 1LT, not a work truck dually, but it is a rear drive, two-door cab, dually. Whoa, moving the slow, that's pretty interesting. Okay, so now this is the highest number that I've ever towed. It's a little bit stiff when you come fully loaded with payload. The ride does become a little stiff. But you know what? On this pretty warm day, on this blacktop, 
I feel like I have plenty of power. Very controllable. The steering is very light as well. Not light, I mean, it, it doesn't feel like a semi-truck. It doesn't feel very heavy and stiff. Very manageable, like you would expect on a maybe a light duty truck. For 2020, the truck is just way bigger than ever before. I'm just over 6'2", and here I am sitting next to the hood. The truck is very tall, but this is what all the camera and the technology is there to help you see around the truck and help you tow and help you drive. One other cool thing about dualies, for 2020, Chevrolet says that every dually configuration will be able to tow over 30,000 pounds. That of course means a fully loaded high country model with most options is still gonna be rated at 30,000 or above. And that's really cool because you have your comfort and also capability. On the diesel truck, there's a new integrated block heater system. It's really neat. It's hidden here in the fascia and the cord is provided. So you can basically plug it in and then when it's a cold night, leave your truck plugged in to warm up the block. These new Silverado heavy duty trucks will come in five trim levels. The basic work truck with a starting price of 35,695 bucks. The custom truck that adds a monochromatic look and a few options. This one starts at $40,595. Then of course there is the LT, which is a mid-grade, starting at $39,595. The LTZ adds more technology and luxury features for a starting price of $50,295. And finally, at the top of the range, there is the high country model. It is only available as a crew cap with a starting price of $62,695. So this truck right here, the red one, it's an LTZ fully loaded crew cab 4x4 dually. And of course it's a diesel. And the tow rating is 31,100 pounds. So still over, well over 30,000 pounds of towing in this fully optioned well-equipped truck, which is important because yes, you can communicate a number, a big number like 35,000 pounds or above, but as soon as you get a usable truck like this, still at a rating like this, it's highly competitive against Ram and Ford. And that's what really matters in the real world. Now it's time to see how the new 2,500 three quarter ton gas and diesel trucks perform in the mountains, towing trailers on a highway near Mount Bachelor in Oregon. The white truck you see here is a custom trail level 4x4 crew cab with a new 6.6 .6 liter gas V8. Chevrolet provided the trucks and the trailers. For the gas truck, Chevy wanted us to use this loaded flatbed trailer with a total weight of 12,000 pounds. Before Mr. Truck and I get on the highway, here are some of the specs on the new gas V8. Here is the all new 6.6 .6 liter gas V8. And it's basically a new engine using the latest technology available to GM. And the rating is 401 horsepower and 464 pound feet of torque. The gas engine has made it to a six speed automatic transmission. It's been updated from the previous generation, but still six gears right here. Mr. Truck, thanks for coming along. Yes, yes. This is fun driving a brand new truck for the first time with that 6.6 gas. Brand new engine, updated transmission, and we're climbing grades! Look at this, I'm near Redline, 5,000 RPM, hauling 12,000 pounds. That's not anywhere near maximum weight for this truck. No, the maximum rating for a two-wheel drive gas truck for 2020 is 17,400. I don't know, I, it's got a 373 gears, which I think would be okay, but it's still a six speed. I think that might match a 10 speed. I think for this truck, they need to keep that 410 they had in their previous engine, that six liter. I think that would be a big help to it. Because to me, it's there's a little bit of lag there. And so I, I think this is about the most I would pull with this truck, this 12 pound. So let's just talk about competition really briefly. Okay. So for gas engines, currently this new 6.6 gas engine from GM 
It actually has the most torque in the segment. Yeah, I thought the numbers looked good on this engine. Yeah, the most torque, but not the most horsepower. Yeah. And they're not the um, highest rated for towing. So, you know, they, they just want, you know, a good towing experience, but they're right. not chasing every, you know, every statistic. Right. Right now, uh, we're going downhill, so I'm going to tap my brake, and I want to see the downshifting. Right. The great shifting. You got tow haul mode on? I am. It's enabled. Good deal. Okay. I, I use the, I turn the knob for tow haul. Let's see, I'm slowing down. Yeah, I think well, that's my experience. You actually have to use the brake to get the great shift. Yeah. It doesn't want a great shift on its own. I wonder why. What are we going to ask an engineer about that and find out? Is, is that on purpose or what's going on? With no sway control whatsoever, 12,000 pounds, it's solid. I like the handling yeah. of what it's, what it's doing right now. And the suspension did squat, but not too much, I don't think. No, and it's because it is an asymmetrical axle. It's got the, the uh, axle slightly forward the center of the leaf springs. So I like that because that's what, when I started doing it in 2011, that really helps with your squat. But the comfort level is great. I mean, the seats, I think, are pretty good. The yeah. steering is nice and tight. And um, I think a lot of positives. But if you are in the mountains, if you yeah. want to tow heavy, I think this is probably not the engine for you. It's the Duramax. Is what right, you want. right. You want to, if you're going to tow a lot and tow at high altitudes, big grades, you can know that nothing beats a diesel. Yeah. Okay, so the gas powered truck was able to maintain the speed limit up the mountain. But will the diesel truck be quicker, especially with the new 10 speed automatic transmission? This black high country model is equipped with a new Duramax diesel V8 and the new Allison. 10 speed automatic transmission. It's towing a different trailer provided by Chevrolet. This one is loaded up to 14,000 pounds and it is also equipped with an optional trailer camera system. By the way, the updated 6.6 .6 liter diesel and the 10 speed transmission cost an additional $9,890 over the base gas V8. With this diesel, 2500, we're towing 14,000 pounds. That's good. This should pull a lot more than a gas, and this is this is a nice setup. And we, because we're pulling a billboard, you know, a giant block back yes. there, big brick. We got weight distributing hitch on this. We have invisible oh, transparent oh, trailer. Oh, I, mean, I got to get a camera on this. This is a wonderful. We're seeing right through the camera. It's like it's not even there. It's X-ray vision. Look, there's a truck, delivery truck coming up. Will we see him? Well, look at it. He Whoa, just look drew at right that. through the trailer. He drove through it. Look inside the trailer. What do we have inside? I can't Can see. That? There's a horse in there. Oh, man. Oh, oh. There's cement blocks. I love it. I love it. This, this is like monumental for trailer. On a high-end model like this high country, of course, the mirror is fully automated. So I can fold it and extend it with power. There is blind spot monitoring on this truck as well, but it does not cover the trailer or the length of the trailer. But, of course, the video cameras do. And as soon as you use the blinker, you can actually see down the side of your trailer or behind the trailer if you have the optional cameras. All right, so let's accelerate up the mountain in this Duramax. They say they don't manage torque in any gear. Well, I would hope so. This is a 10 speed. This is the big one. Let's just briefly go over how this truck, the diesel, compares to competition. So, of course, there's a new 2019 Ram. And right. Ram diesel for 2500 series, three quarter tons, is rated higher at max towing, uh, just a, above 19,000 pounds. Um, and of course, uh, you cannot get the high output diesel in the Ram 2500, right? Right. Yeah, at least be a 35 single rear wheel or dual. Yeah. So, of course, GM has the same diesel across all their three quarter tons and yeah. more tons. Yeah. And then Ford also has the same engine, uh, but Ford has uh, more torque and more horsepower than the Duramax. Right. And they still have a six speed in 2019. That's true. Uh, F250 can tow um, about the same weight as this can. So
So when we're talking about about 18,600 pounds for the GM, for the Chevy, and 18,500 for the Ford. So they're neck and neck currently. Yeah. At, at, yeah. at least before the 2020 Ford comes out. But what I really notice here towing in the mountains and the diesel, it's mostly effortless. Like, you know, the gas engine had to work. Yeah. Uh, but, but this diesel really doesn't care even with 14,000 pounds behind it. And the transmission just shifted beautifully, just really uh, smoothly, and it seemed to be predicting what I wanted. So I'm really happy. And the transmission temperature was never above 171 degrees. Yeah, it's just tooling around. I mean, 14,000 pounds is nothing for this truck. And that's what's so cool is you get the exhaust brake with the tow haul grade, it all slows you down. And these are basically the same size brakes they were last year. Mm -hmm. Production on these new heavy duty trucks already started and they should be arriving at your local dealership around August or September of this year. We will have a heavy duty truck in Colorado pretty soon for a lot more testing. Fuel economy, the eye gauntlet, so that's coming up. And go back to tfltruck.com for my news views and the real world truck reviews. <laughs>